Hi, I'm Mike Zwingman, Agronomy R&D Manager for Central Valley Ag. This is your Monday Agronomy Update video that coincides with the Reach Out article on the CVA blog site. In this week's article, I want to talk about starter fertilizers and really how, in my opinion, they're really not part of your total fertility program. They're just the start. It's a, more about the placement than it is about the total. We're using that starter fertilizer, a product like Begin, to really get your plant off on the right foot to get that plant growing vigorously, emerging evenly, and getting a big, vigorous root system on it. Once that root system gets established, it can access the rest of your fertility program. If we don't have it, we don't get that root development like we do with starter. So it's about getting the plant off on the right foot. It's about getting that plant off and out of the ground and growing at a rate that it can access nutrients, use sunlight, and churn away and make photosynthetic activity on its own. The quicker we get it there, the better off we are. So I only really want our starter fertilizers to last us about 28 days to get that plant off and growing. After that, I want the roots to do what they're supposed to do. Search out for water and nutrients and dig deeper and wider in the soil to give you the access you need to make yield down the road. Now there's cases in some of CVA territory where you run those higher nitro nitrogen ended starters, that they're part of your fertility program. At least the additional nitrogen is. Especially when it comes to products like 1034O, our blended starters, or our premium products like Begin. I want you to talk with your field sales agronomist about how starter fertilizer fits in as a part to get you to your fertility program. I want you to talk to your FSA about what starter's right for you, what rate, and how we can get that plan off to a good, vigorous start. As always, be safe, and I'll see you next week.